Hey guys, this is Alistars. All right, in this video, we are going to cover the D0 bunker. So, not too much to it. The layout inside is pretty much the same as the C4 bunker, just with one more wing added to it. And I will show you as soon as I do the walkthrough of it. All right, quickly, one overview, only one building that you can take over, this one here, at this stage. You cannot take over the white one anymore. I'm not sure exactly. I'm not exactly sure why, but they, this, the developers decided to remove this ability. So, one half run at the top, and two entrances: the one we saw earlier and this hatch. I would recommend more going through the main entrance on this one, but it is still possible to get in and out of this one. You just have to really time it well with this mech because it just goes back and forth in front and it can be difficult to get into the hatch and out of it. All right, so right over here, we have a Nammo making facility or rail, whatever you need to make. And in this building, we have a few more, a bit more military loot. So going in there is okay. It, it can be a bit risky, although the mech usually does not glitch through it anymore, but there's nowhere really you could hide in there. So if the mech sees you, it could be a bit difficult. In here, we will test in the log walkthrough if the mech can see you through those fence. And this way we'll know if it's possible or not. All right, let's go to it. All right, here we are. We are going to do to the walkthrough. All right, first thing we are gonna test is see if the mech can see us through this fence, this trigger fence right here. So, let's, and it can. All right. So, I was hoping it wouldn't, but apparently, if you go through this secondary fence, most of the time the mechs can see you. So be careful with that. It does not see you only on the outer fence. All right. Oh. Baseball bat too. Let's see what we can get our hands onto in here. So obviously we can still loot while he's busy or while you are hidden behind those containers or the train wagon, whatever it used to be. So beans, more military loot. Gotta be careful where you show yourself. You must have seen me again, but did you not shoot? All right, so like I said, it can be really difficult to go into uh, this building right here. And I would usually avoid it. All right, big boy. So it goes quite a long way. Gonna, it's gonna keep out going all the way along the corner. So we'll be all right. Be careful not to be seen at the from the mech at the top. And you can always hide here from this one if you want to get a few more Feet forward. All right. And then fairly easy. Just jog your way in. It does one stop and then it runs a bit further. And we are in. So fairly easy to get in and out. So like I said, I prefer not to loot the building outside. It is still doable, but I would not recommend it. All right. Let's see what we can get our hands into. So, like I was saying in the overview, this bunker is has the exact same layout as the C4 bunker. There is only one thing that has been added to it, and it's an extra wing, which is towards the hatch. All right. So let's see what we can get what we can get at the entrance. I have noticed, and it's, if it is the same. Uh, as the D4 bunker. One of these boxes right here, usually this one, or this one sometimes, not this time around, but I've had my luck at finding uh, yellow scrollivers in one of these two. Sometimes it's been here too, I've found advanced lockpick if I wasn't, or sometimes just nothing like this time around. All right, so we're gonna keep going. No, this door does not lead anywhere. So as you can see, exact same layout as the C4 bunker, two armories right here. Can I get a hat? Whichever comes first. Gonna pick up what we can. I 
and keep going. So don't forget those boxes. You can find night vision. You can find anything in these. So don't forget those. And same here. Not a lot of luck in terms of loot. So we're gonna keep on searching. It does not let me double click on to this magazine. There, you go. there it is. So we got matching bullets for machine gun and 80% of that is pretty good. Alright, so if you go down there, very easy. This is the same as the C4 bunker. So you will get to the kill box area, which is on to the right side right here. So for this, this is the exact same layout. No issues there. To office room, you can find all you need for your padlocks and the usual up and down area with long corridors. You will find a few offices, bathroom, and depository. One more at the end of it in here. And upstairs, you will find on this side two small control room right here and right here behind the stick, two gliding doors. So go for it, look in there, as you can see there is a pistol in here, 9mm, so always go at the back of his desk, there is some loot, and we are gonna go right across, so as you can see all here, this area is the exact same, and up here, we got a bathroom and an office, same thing on the other side, one more office, and at the end over here, you got a little bit more loot, which is lead you to one more bathroom. So go for it. Look for screwdrivers, right screw, screwdriver spoons on top and inside these. More depositories. You go and be in here, we got two more offices, office lab. One more depository. Very easy in and out. Now let's go to the different section that is added in difference to the C4 bunker. Always close behind you if you can because the make the puppets if you start shooting or making too much noise from one floor to another would hear you and come and come and get you from behind. Alright. So this is the difference with the C4 bunker. So you got two more bathrooms, a few couple more offices on here. And right here, you will get one more depository, a small medical exam room. You will have a bigger one right here. They call it an observatory room and a little bit more loot here. So that's it for this area. That's all. The, the only difference there is with the C4 bunker. So you can quickly go through it. We are gonna make our way out. I'm not gonna spend too much time looting. Quickly on our way. First, we want to gun. We're gonna take the one with the bullets. When you see this sort of thing happening and your character is away from the ladder, you are better off restarting it. Just get a bit closer and then it will work properly. Because it might not be buggy at this stage, but once you get at the top of the ladder, sometimes it's not gonna let you get you off the ladder, it's gonna keep going and you're gonna end up stuck and with the make things able to see you so easily as there is absolutely no bushes this could get you into big trouble be careful with that all right so the mech goes back and forth in front of the alpha front i would have been able to have the time to come out so you just got to be patient there observe his uh timing Think that if he has seen you before is or seen somebody else is going to be on a much quicker timer and then you, ma you make your way out once you are there so i would ad advise if you are doing it this way to run outside and then back inside through holding the fence right here and make your way to the alpha front all right so this is pretty much it for this bunker, <clears throat> very easy to navigate, 
Uh, if you have been to the C4 bunker, you will not be lost. If you haven't yet, that's okay. Once you get to the C4 bunker, then you will know the layout of it. And right here, you have the possibility to make ammo or to craft anything that requires one of those machines. So, drill press, different, two different types, and uh, the last machine right here. Alright guys, that will be it for this uh, tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. It was the D0 bunker. It's so all the way on the top right corner. Really lost there. At this stage, there is not much at the map, but I'm sure maybe once you guys are going to be watching this tutorial later on, there probably is going to be a lot more loot there. So don't worry if it looks empty for now. The bunker itself shouldn't change. So it should be alright. Alright, thank guys. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one.